five, doing some logs today. Let's see if we can get this done very quickly. Logs is an interesting topic, it's an interesting device, it's an interesting tool that mathematicians use to solve problems involving very um, large numbers, large scales. Don't forget to pay your fees while you're waiting. Close off the chat and press like while you're not waiting anymore because we're getting into it, right? So there are some rules of logs that you should, you're supposed to know. Some of the more um, worn out ones would be like log of A plus log of B. So long, so long as they have the same base, when they add in, it means you're multiplying. And this is so because the, the general idea of logs, logs deal with how much times a number must be multiplied by itself to reach a certain value. How many times you must multiply a number by itself to reach a certain value? That is what logs really deal with. So, like for example, if I have 3 cubed, I will get 3 by 3 by 3. 9 by 3 is 27. So, if I'm taking the log to the base 3 of 27, I will get 3. Because what this is asking me is how many times I need to multiply 3 to get 27. That's what log really mean. Uh, catch that? Or if I have like log, let's say let's stay in the same base. If I have like log base 3 of 81, what is that equal to? How many times I need to multiply 3 by itself to get 81? And to multiply 3 by itself to get 81, you need 4 times. So what log does is take a bigger number and crunch it down into a smaller number using powers so it it, it use um a, a kind of index rule it indexes numbers into a smaller into a smaller number it's like it crunched the whole number line into a smaller number line it crunched the entire universe into a smaller universe this is infinite and this is infinite but this is a smaller infinite it's really it's really weird it's really weird right um uh, so like if I have log to the base 10 of 1000, this is 3 because 10 by 10 by 10 is 1000. Now, it doesn't need to be healthy whole numbers like that. It can be like log to the base 10 of 85. This will be a number between 1 and 2 because log to the base 10 of 10 is 1 because you need to multiply 10 by 1 to get that. And log to the base 10 of 100 is 2 so this number is between 10 and 100 so this is one point something and if you put it on your calculator let's bring up our calculator now every time i do this thing i need to get up a new calculator I might as well just prepare the calculator before the live that's something like a sensible move and going try and remember that next time all right so window thing not you this card this card, I see this card, you're bringing up thing, good thing, ma. somebody had a hack, hack with my computer here. Um, calculator, it up there, that's what I want. Not the whole window, just, yeah, window capture, create new, that one, right, so now you're talking. So like, if I press, um, on, log of this is naturally going to be 10 right log of 85 i expect a number between 1 and 2 so 1.9 and that makes sense it's close to 100 right 1.929 so you're all kind of catching a little vibes of what log log does what log, what log is about now from this you'll be able to decode how the time must be two then how you get the um, first rule so like you have log of a plus log of b and they are saying that this is the same as saying the log of a by b yes because remember you're dealing with powers when you're thinking log you're dealing with powers so because you have the powers you can multiply them powers when you're adding the powers it's very simple let, let me show you why if i have log if i have log of we're using the same three right of 27 plus log to the base 3 of 81, what is that equal to? That is equal to 
that is equal to, I feel this will be a little harder for you to see when I multiply. So I just want, anyway, you can see it, you can see it. Let me just do it still. So this, remember, this was like three. This is three. And this is four. So this is seven, right? 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 So now we are saying that this is the same as log to the base three of 27 times 81. 27 times 81 is a big number. <laughs> it's a big number. Let's get that number. Um, those who could do arithmetic really fast, just do it up there fast. No, I ain't really paying myself through that. 27 times 81. Right. 2187. So this is log to the base 3 of 2187, which is the same as 7. Because 3 to the power of 7 is that number. We can verify that. Um, 3 to the power of 7 is, boom, 2187. So it's like you're taking this and multiplying by this. And if you fiddle around with it, it will start to make sense there. Play with it, especially those who like mathematics, because it will help you to understand logs in the future when you start to get in, you know, tormenting and into graphs and you're actually doing it in scales and applying it, applied maths and that kind of thing, right? So that's that's how logs work, and and then we can we can say therefore like log if you have the same base here, and I'll put like eight represent the same base, right? And instead of positive, if I say take away. Well, then you just divide, and you can see it again here, A over B. Um, same base, eh? same base. So, like, if I had log of the, the 3, and we had the 81 minus log to the base 3 of 27 is equal to, this would be 4 take away 3, which is 1, right? And let's show how this is 1. This is the same as saying log to the base 3 of 81 divided by 27. 27 could go into 81 three times. So this is log 3, 3. This is, and, in, uh, and that's a rule we could say. Log to the base A, when you have the same thing occurring here, it's just 1. So log, natural logs, the natural base 10 logs, um, sorry, base 10 logs, log to the base 10 of 10 is equal to 1 the log ln meaning ln already stands for log to the base e um right so ln of e is 1 right e is just a special number just like pi let you see are you have any questions are you have any questions no i between me and you, I have never, ever, 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 ever seen an ad maths class where a teacher just explained this to a student. I've never seen this. And to me, if I was a student, the way I learn, I would love to know this. Like, you mean to say logs is really just saying 3 times 3 to the power of 4 is 81. That is what it's based on. And it crunching down these powers into this new scale. I would have loved to find out that in secondary school. And I went to the whole secondary school, do really well in maths. And didn't really understand the concept in that until like university. So boom, there it is. And we have different rules. So let's see how we can pull out some rules here. The most the most fascinating rule, the most fascinating rule of logs for me is this one. Let me just let me just do an example. Log to the base two, and let's say we have 32. You should know that this is five. Because two to the power of five is 32. Two to the power of five is 32. You can check it. 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2. I feel I see more than I should. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is like 4 by 4 by 8. So this is like 4 by 8. 4 by 8 is 32, right? So yeah. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So log base 2 of 32 is 5. By the way, this will also give you a next little tip. Once you see, once you start to understand this, you have less things to memorize. Because you realize how to change something that's in the log form to the exponent form. You know that's be a big challenge for you. And if if you don't know about that, well then you're in a even worse position. <laughs> you're in a even worse position. If you don't know that this is usually a challenge for students. Right? So what I'm saying, this is 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32. Yes. So this is the exponent form and this is the logarithmic form. Eh? 
That is why it's a, so two to the power of five is thirty two. And watch this, watch this, watch this. I want to take this one to show you something. The most interesting, the most fascinating, the most sweet law, the power, the power law. I think nowadays call it the power law. We said that log to the base two of thirty-two is equal to five, right? But what is really thirty-two? What thirty-two really is? Log to the base two of two to the power of five, right? Thirty-two is really two to the power of five. The product, the, the, the power law says that this number, anytime you have a power inside here, you could just take that power and throw it in front. Take that power and throw it in front. That is vibes. You could just take that power and throw it in front. Watch this. You could just say log to the base 2 of 2 and the power that was here, you just come and line here, my brother. That is vibes. So this is really saying log to the base 2 of 2, which is 1. 5 by 1 is 5. Yes, that is correct. Now, why is this so? This is so because we can take we can take logs of this and see why this is happening. Um, 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32. Take logs on both sides. Log 2, 5 is equal to log of 32. So you are saying 2 to the power of 5, 32, same thing. Is the same thing two to the power. In other words, I could bring down this five here, log two. I could I could get this up into the position two to the power five. It's the same thing because logs logarithms function on powers, and this allows this really fascinating and very helpful rule to happen. This is the rule that is tested in your paper, to which you are not going to have. This is the rule where you change, and this always comes when you test here for logs, where you change. Um, the exponential equation into the logarithmic form, draw a graph, read off the gradient, read off the y-intercept, and solve something, and find some missing constant or something. Anybody remember doing that? Why is any chat if you remember doing that? That is like understanding concept. If we had you and at school enough, would that be good? That piece of dialect they die and all to understand by challenge. <laughs> Uh, first time, so I'm getting the concept of it. Very nice. This is ad maths. Yeah, this is ad maths. If you are if you are math students and you're watching this, don't frighten yourself. Yes, just back out the video and go and watch TV or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is this is ad maths. Hey, Anil, what is this scene? DJ Anil, um, right. Very nice. Very nice. So this is this is the concept behind logs. And we do a question yet, so let's jump into the question, right? So the same log of a. By the way. After you understand the concept, it's still important that you go and do lots of questions. Because there are like five different ways that logs can come. And I and as a student, it can be really confusing to figure out, okay, what do I do now? I know how to do everything, but what do I do now? I, I, I know how it is as a student. Like which which rule to apply, which which concept we we take it. That happens in logs a lot, that happens in trigonometry a lot. Sometimes it happens in integration and things. So logs and sizes and indices is a real topic that, that could happen. And you need to do a lot of questions. Check your textbook. If a lot of students use this textbook, you could you could go through that textbook and um, go through the whole logs chapter and do as many questions as possible. It will help in your it will help in your multiple choice. So log of a, we have any answers for this? Shane says b. Log of a x is equal to log to the base a. So x, log of x to the base a is equal to 8. Same base, but is y is equal to 6. Then the value of, all right, so we divide in. So if we divide in, I get some answers. If we divide in, it means, as a capital Y, bro. Capital Y, it, it means, that's the looking combination. Let me do the thing this way. Still, all right, forget that. Um, log of e, fed up right at e, boy. Log of e. Um, ting, 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 ka, ting, ka, ting, 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 and 8 minus 6 is 2. You won't believe how much people let's get this question wrong, here, boy. So this question, people let's put the 8 over 6, break it down here, 4 over 3. What else is do? They add. Yeah, it, it could be a little problematic. 
<laughs> nah, <laughs> that's scary book, boy. You know, that's scary book. You don't just quote them names out here. <laughs> Adapt. Um, number two. I guess I'm answering so number two. You buy this textbook, I never use it. Uh, I, people just find this textbook. I, I like it. I find it's a pretty good textbook for the CSEC admat syllabus. Um, this guy have like a million textbooks, and his textbooks is normally not too, in my opinion, not too um, explanative. It's just be like, rah, take maths. But um, like, you have to be a good student to kind of use the textbook. But what he has in nearly all of his, all of his textbooks is a lot of questions. And at the end of the day, maths is about practicing a whole heap of different kind of questions. So, um, yeah. And so along with this, you're on a partner with the syllabus. Any answers? So 2C two, two says Mikhail. 4 times 16. So you wanna, this is indices. And indices and logs is like cousins, right? It's like cousins. You know, they say they're, they're similar. I, I was trying to think of some things else to see what they are like, but it's like cousins. It's similar to like differentiation and integration. Differentiation is one way and integration is like backwards. Um, this is why when you're young, your parents are supposed to introduce you to a lot of uh, toys and objects and fiddling around. And so all these concepts and things based in very simple mathematics and physics. And, and the more you fiddle around with stuff, the more you play around with stuff mathematically, blocks, them kind of thing, the easier these things is be to grasp. It's just weird. It just work like that. Anyhow, 4 times 16 to the power of 2x, 4 times, instead of 16, I could write 4 squared. 2x is equal to 64x. Why is this looking kind of traumatic? And instead of 64, we could write. 64 is really 4 to the power of something. 16 by 4. 3, 3, 3, right? And put the x here. So now, this is 4 multiplied by 4 to the power of 2 to the 4 times 4, 4x. Because a power to a power you multiply um, is equal to 4 cubed. So I use in some rules here. Rules out here. Yes. In the seas. Wow. <laughs> that one is actually good, boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> that one is actually good. Uh, right. So you're multiplying here. So when you're multiplying, what do you do? What what's what 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 are we going to leg on them when you're multiplying? I wanna take this somewhere. I wanna take this to a new page. I didn't see much answers for, for two in it. Cut all this piece this year. Oh. Oh, go. You know what happened? I cut it and lost the copy. Alright, so we, we, we here, we good. So when you're multiplying your add, so this is 1 plus 4x is equal to 4, 3. X. There's a three. There's an X in. I feel like there was an X there. Four to the power of three, sixty four to the power of X. Yes, three X. So once you have the same base, you could just say, forget about base. Let me just let me just equate these two powers. So one plus four X is equal to three X. Um, X is equal to negative one. Bring across the three x take away. Bring across the one negative one. Ting ting ting. That making sense? Any body x? Let's see. Me cut all the x. Yes, now. I'm waiting now. Waiting now, right? So, why is it in chat? So negative negative one. So negative one, two C. So everybody, you said C. Good. Let's bring our next question. 
I'll do it one at a time. We're not doing much questions today, maybe at a ten questions, which is not the entire vlogs and indices, but most of vlogs and indices. Mostly be indices. What is man saying? <laughs> Some stupid distance. Guys, where does find the fish? Indices. For what value of x is two is twenty seven to the power of x plus one equals to three? Same thing. Powers up that. So or you're always looking to see what kind of it's kind of get the hint, it's kind of feel it in your heart. Which um base you're, you're leaning towards, and obviously this is base three. So you can think of this like this to the power of that, or um you can just think of the, don't forget to do so. Eh? Don't forget to um, say 3x plus 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 1, which is 3. By the way, 3 to the power of 0 is 1. 3 to the power of 1 is 3. That's how it works. So you just left now with 3x plus 3 equal to 1. 3x is equal to 1 take away 3. Negative 2. Adapt you out here answering questions. What is this? What is this? Negative two to it. So the answer is D. I didn't really give her enough time to do this one. D. So you all get a little more time to do the next one. So in CX, see what normally happens in um at maths multiple choice is that you, you need to solve those kind of indices questions. You just, you just manipulate it so that you get same base on either side and when you reach here, you drop the base and you just equate the um, powers, powers, a lot of powers. Adapt, you have a steel joke for powers. Make them work. Richard, what's up? We did with some answers for number four here. So I'll be doing some longer sessions. I was thinking to do some long to answer easy electrical. I would do some longer sessions near the exam. So how many do you do this question? Javish, Javish, Ram Charita says four E. Now, this question looking like it's a piece of problem, right? Because it's squared here, there's a problem. This question might take you into quadratics. Quadratics land mean that this question shouldn't come from multiple choice. But the reason I still develop this question for you is because it will show you a whole set of different things that can happen. It logs that can happen one by one in your multiple choice. So normally, if they're doing this, you wouldn't see a squared here. So it would not take you into quadratics land. Javish, and you went into quadratics land. Um, the quadratics might work out so that I get a perfect square room. I get x, 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 x minus 2, x minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 3, something like that, right? But, um, if something like this happens, there's an easier way to do this question. Well, it will still require a little time. It will still require a little time. Remember, in AdMats and Math, you always should have in the back of your mind Substitution. One. I'm about to and I'm about to unleash a big big clue for you. All of the questions we did before 
can be solved not knowing anything else but the substitute. Okay, let me show you what I mean. All 65 of you all pay attention here. This could save your life. This is very important. Write this down somewhere. If you see in a paper x plus 1 is equal to 4, right? And the answers is A, 3, or B, 10. Just two answers, right? And let's say you completely don't know how to do algebra and bring across 1 and get and figure out that the answer is 3. Substitution. Take the answer and put it into this. Take your calculator out like this. What how? And say to yourself, can I try A and see what happens? 3 plus 1, what is that? 4. It works. A is the answer. 10 plus 1, that should be plus. Plus 1 equal 11. It doesn't work. B is not the answer. So I'm saying you don't need to know even logs to solve these questions. This question is a little, the first one is a little hard. I'm going to let people out in a calculator. It's a little hard because to do it because this has A. A, A, base A. Forget about that. You just use a normal base. So let me show you how to solve this question using substitution. You see, log um, mm, this, you, using substitution, and this one would be a little harder. I'll have to use indices. To get a value to substitute. So I wouldn't recommend substitution on this one. Let me try number two. Let me try number two. I'll come back to number one, eh? but it'll take a little long. Let me just show you number two first. Four times 16 to the power of 2. And I can try all the answers. So if I put in the negative one, Press that uh, it's supposed to be 16 and I write 10. Delete 16 and that's supposed to be negative what 1 equals one over sixty-four. So you get one over sixty-four now. This should be the same as sixty-four to the power of negative one. Sixty-four to the power of negative one. And everybody knows that is 1 over 64. So you actually could substitute the answers. Only listen to me. This is save lives. I tell people this last year. People come and tell me. So it saved my life. I do it in certain questions. It will out. For people who are struggling with logs, you can use substitution on your calculator to figure out the question. So 4 times 16, 2 to the power of, and you substitute the answers and see which one lines up and work. It will take you like about a, a minute, and, and a minute is how much you need to answer the question. Or um, actually, there's only 45 questions in my ad maths. Let me show you with the next question. So you didn't even need to know any rules of logs. Same thing here, 27 to the power of x plus 1. So you can try one of the answers. 2 thirds plus 1 plus 1. One. The thing with this calculator, I don't need to put brackets because it understand that it's 2 thirds plus 1 first. And see if I get 3. I don't. So let's try something else. Let's try the negative, which was the answer. And I get 3. Boom! You get the answer. I'm blocking. The calculator is blocking. Hey, 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 none of that. Something moving in the background, there, boy. You come here and you get the answer which was negative two thirds. So, why is in the chat if you understand that? If you have put it into your back pocket, same thing with this one. This looks really long and complicated, and I will have to do quadratics because I will have to. What are they do, boy? Bring it into one using the division law. So, it will be this over that, it will be this over this, and change this into maybe like 2 log 3 3 bring up the 2 so you get um 3 squared you get 9 on that side and then so that's a piece of work i'm going to do it just now to show you how to do it but substitution 
may be the easier route here. So you just take the answers and try the easiest ones first to try and get an idea where to go. And you press log. Now this calc this 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 calculator is supposed to be able to do log to the base. Um can it? Can it do log to the base? This calculator can do log to the base three. So they use a different base here just now. I need to figure out oh log to the base, right? So look at here. Log to the base three x plus one. So you're gonna put two. X plus seven, sorry. So we're trying out two. So we can just put nine because two plus seven is nine squared. We can just put eighty one because everybody know nine squared is eighty one. Um take away the same log. Y'all understand why how I'm going and hack the question. 2x, 2 by 2 is 4 plus 9. So this is our next 9. That is 2. 2 is the answer. A. Right hand corner. Oh, Ali is telling me about how to get the log to the base. See, see, once again, this is why I recommend this calculator. Most calculators don't have log to the base. So you'll have to do the log conversion thing and this log over that log and uh, nobody want to go through all of that in an exam um why is in the chat if you understand this watch how fast you get the answer just putting it in your calculator this kind of question always comes you'll always get a kind of linear log log of this take away log of that or log of this plus log of that equal to some number and you need to find it and i'm telling you now me and 58 of y'all this question can be solved on your calculator in seconds. You just put in answers here into your calculator and see which one works to give you two. I hope I'll use this too, yes? All right, so let me see how to do it legitimately. Like if you had to do it in a paper too, what kind of techniques you'd have you, you would use. So I would group this into one, right? I'd say x plus seven squared divided by two x plus five, right, that, that subtraction here. And I would write log to the base three of three here, just to get logs on both sides now. This is one, so I could put this in here. This is one, this is like saying two by one. So I didn't change anything. I didn't I didn't mess up anything. That's the, that's the trick, that's the trick with this. And then, um, don't forget to take this two, I'm gonna do it in one line. You're you actually have to write over a line, but you know I could just grab that two and send him up there. Because if it if this two could go down here, it could come back up there, right? That's that's the rule of logs. So now I could drop off logs. When you have log on one side and log on the next side, and it's just like one log, eh? Now whole set of logs. You can have log plus log equal log. And you're thing here, and you're thing here, and you're thing here. And you say, all right, logs on everybody, I could drop off log. No, no, no. It had to be one on this side and one on that side. Do you understand what I mean? So, boom, you join them up, and you drop off the logs, and you... So you have x plus 7 to be squared divided by 2x plus 5 is equal to 9, because 3 squared is 9. And you bring up the 2x plus 5. So that's a good hack there? Yes, trial and error. Best of the best. I really need that calculator. Telling all your people, messaging me on Instagram and saying they get the calculator and it's vibes and things. Good. Yes, cool. Some of the high-end shops could do it as well. But it's a little, it's a little more challenging. And you had to really know your calculator. Um, X plus 7 squared is equal to 9, 18x. So I'm just taking this and multiplying by this one time. Um, plus... Indeed. You see how you see how ridiculous this question is? 9 by 5 is 45. And I square up this and I get x squared plus what? 2 by x by 7 is 14. x plus 7 by 7 is 49. So again, 18x plus 45. So I bring across everything now. Does it really 18x? Let me just make sure. 9, 2 is 18, 7, 14. Right. Bring across everything now. This should give me x minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. So in the end, I'm going to get x minus 2, x minus 2. So x is equal to 2. 
when you have, x is equal to 2, both of them will give you x is equal to 2. So this is a little longer. This is like if you had paper 2, you get marked and you're working. But the substitution, they just need to get answers in, um, in multiple choice. We good to go? Good to go. Now, once again, in CXC, they would not bring this. They wouldn't, by the time you reach here, you'll have something linear. So you would not have a square here. So you just had to bring across the number, bring across the x, and you get the answer one time. Very likely in CXC that will they will do because they don't do double step questions in CXC like where they test you with too much, too much techniques. They wouldn't ram all of that into one question. But um, the substitution thing, the trial and error, as my boy call it, Javish, is gold, gold. Um, I hope you pick up that gold. All right, that is it for today. <laughs> That is it for today, Elliot. I thought it was nine questions, but actually, I didn't write all the rest of the questions yet. Now. So, but I think we today was a good lesson. You get some good points inside. It was what 38 minutes. I still plenty. Um, new matter that calculate is Casio FX115 ES Plus. The Casio Classways is also a good calculator. This one, this is the actually the newer version to the calculator that I, that I show you on the screen. Uh, but there are some things in the older calculator that more useful, like in pure maths, that this calculator can do. But this calculator, the user interface is just it literally telling you what to do in everything. This and it works really fast. So if you get this calculator, and all you're gonna do is see, see set maths, add maths, that's all you're ever gonna do in your life, and statistics and them kind of thing. Classes, real best. Uh, so, so that is the most you can bring for logs. Nah, I'll leave out a couple questions. I'll touch on your back with them questions someday. And she exceeded us tell you uh, most about X and then ask you why. Alright. Um, do some, we don't do anything on Sundays. By the way, nothing on Sundays. And you don't come clicking, clicking on Sundays. Eh? It will never show. <laughs> That's a rookie mistake. So we're rolling a whole Admats paper past paper anytime soon. We'll never do the full CX. I will never do a CXC multiple choice um, or their past paper, right? And not on my channel. Um, getting my calculator next week. Good. Now, when you get this calculator, when you get your calculator like this for the Casio, sometimes you could go in a mode and don't know how to come out. So make sure you learn how to use the calculator and there's no reset button in this calculator. You know some calculators. So, you can get this off my calculator. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my calculator. And you can't come out. You can't even add two numbers together. You're going in some mode and you don't know what's going on. Make sure you know how to press menu and go, into, go back into the normal computation mode. Or work with two calculators in case you get into a mode and you don't know how to come out of that mode. And you're like, so tell me to buy this calculator. And I, no, I can't do nothing in my exam. Or watch my video on how to use the calculator, right? There's no reset button on these calculators. They expect it to be on a certain level. Um, yeah, it has shift reset here. Reset setup thing. But uh, there's no dedicated reset button. Just make sure you know how to use the calculator. I have seen people stumped in official CXE exams with these calculators. Take out the battery. You gotta work with a screwdriver. I already have a video showing how to use both of these calculators. Showing you how to use, and you will be mind blown with, with the stuff I show you in that, them videos. I gonna pipe my partner one. Not advised. Nice. So, we all day, see you on Monday. Maybe you might do some physics. Maybe you might come back and touch some more admins. It depends on how much work I get done over the weekend. By the way, the book is still up. The book will still be fifteen dollars for the rest of next week up to like around Friday, and then the price will go to the normal price. So those who get in your maths past paper book to guns it before exam. The question bank that's the book that I created. Every topic in CXC in that book. It have no extra stuff. It ain't no um thing that will never you'll never see in your exam. It's based off of the last 10 years of exams, what I know have been coming. Every single theme is in that book. So, link that book now, somebody just buy it. That's what I um, remember. 
uh, and what YC price is still 15 US. If you can't pay using credit card, but you could, your parents could use bank transfer or something like that, WhatsApp this number. Plus, I'm trying to write on the screen right now. Plus one eight six eight seven nine zero eight eight one three. So WhatsApp this number and say, sir, I buy the calculator using the bank transfer method, and I will link you up. I'll show you what, what account to send it to. You have to send your email address, fill out the form, upload your receipt, and it in your email. And that is that. If you want to buy the book, if you have a credit card and you have paper. And you want to buy the book, just go to my website, just search Kerwin Spring. Actually, kerwinspringer.com. Type that in your HTML thing. Kerwinspringer.com and you're inside. How much will it be after the 15? It'll be 20. 20 US. So, I then tell them questions. Enjoy your day. Ting, ting, ting. Yeah, they can leave. They can leave. We're outside. We're outside. I thought somebody buy it again. Got a YouTube notification. All right, people. Enjoy the weekend.